So I am at the back of my um, apartment building and I just wanted you guys to see what it looks like, what I'm looking at. I mean like I'm sitting on a bench, <laughs> like one of those rocking benches or whatever. So yes, I am enjoying my life. What I want to talk about is a little bit about spirituality because I understand, I'm starting to understand that we are humans um, in this world having a spiritual experience, you know, and, um, well, spirits having a human experience, I should say, but you can get so deep and caught into the spiritual side that there's things that will start being unlocked to you that you're not really ready for. So it's like you either have to have a guide on this journey or it's just best for you to to stop. You know, I was praying and, um, you know, I was talking about it. And then all of a sudden, you know, something just said, no, don't go any further. Like, you're going deep enough as it is, right? And then if y'all, I don't know if y'all can see it, but right there on the pool, I looked up and it said, warning, no lifeguard on duty on duty swim at your own risk and I was like you know what that's more than enough for me and the crazy thing about it is it's like things like that you can't really talk to people about because most people haven't experienced that so you have to be careful about what you share uh, with others you know this spiritual journey that I've been on has been on a whole nother level it's unlocked way more than I thought it would and it's like, I want to share some of it with others, but I know that certain people aren't ready for that kind of deep conversation, you know? The people that are ready, they're going to seek that knowledge, but that's not just something that you offer to just anybody, because people can use that knowledge in the wrong way. So you have to be very responsible. So, yeah, I just want to say that real quick, get that out of the way. I'm having more synchronicities. I feel like I've tapped into something deeper. I know I've tapped into something deeper. It's not that I feel like it. But what I'm trying to say is I can feel the shift. You know, I feel like I'm becoming a very different person than what I've been before. Yeah, it's, you know, me, but it's like amplified. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. And it's like I'm, I'm covering different things you know, more so my effect on the world than anything. You know, not just me, but my effect on the people around me, the places, the situations when I walk in a room, you know, energy shifts, you know, things like that. Like, for instance, I was like, I could be thinking of one thing and then I feel like I'm shifting into a different time, you know? And it's, it's something you can't explain to just everyone because most people don't know what you're talking about or they're just not ready to get into that. So I guess basically what I'm saying is if you open yourself to different experiences, you're going to get those different experiences. You open yourself to the spirit world, you're going to be, it's a, it's a level that you can't even explain with words because it's never ending. Whereas our humanness, we can only comprehend so much I think they were um, I read some yesterday I saw some yesterday where there's 11 to 15 million bits of information that's available to us per minute or per second yet the human mind can only take 40 bits per second that's deep so that means that there's way more around us than our human comprehension could ever fathom so it's like but what if you could start opening a little bit more you know every day so that's one thing that I'm starting to understand about me you know I have a lot of curiosity and with that curiosity it's led me into different places all right and I'm talking about in the physical world so yeah that's that's something that you want to be very careful about look at these birds birds are messengers so I also want to share like just one weird experience so I was up on the rooftop right 
this was a few days ago, and I had never, ever seen so many birds by a building like this building, well, this condominium um, next to me. It was like so many birds just swarming around the building. I'm like, what is going on? So when I got off the rooftop, I came down here, and I looked over at the building, and there were no birds there. And when I tell y'all, it was so many birds uh, over there when I was on the rooftop, I was like, that's not normal. I would have noticed that before. So, yeah, just be on the lookout for synchronicities, you know, the downloads that you'll get, the visions, you know, the intuition, things like that, things that people may call you crazy for. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, like, butterflies... You know, you seen that butterfly just come up to me and everything. Sometimes I'll come out here and I'll see like a, a bunny rabbit or whatever. Yesterday I came out here and it was two bunny rabbits. So I started looking up the meaning of things too. I don't want to get too deep into this, but the number one reason why I made this is to let people know that we're actually spirits having a human experience instead of humans having a spiritual experience. But there's levels to this. You understand what I'm saying? And once you start getting into it, it you'll, you're going to uncover and unlock some things. I'm just trying to make my life as good as it can be. You know, and I feel like unlocking the spiritual tools, you know, helps you to do that in the, the 3D world. You know, in the world where we use our five senses. But there's got to be a balance, y'all. And you have to know that it comes with warnings. All right. So, yeah, but take in as much good as you can, you know, and, and leave as much negativity as you can out. Because what you pay attention to within 17 seconds, you know, starts to form a reality. And it's a good thing that everything that we think doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't hold it long enough, then it'll go away. But if you hold something 17 seconds or more, it's just going to amplify. It's going to gain momentum. So that's a tip for anyone that may be going through things. All right, y'all. Well, hey, um, thank you for joining me today, and be blessed. Bye for now.